Hello to all you guys out there in YouTube land. Yes, it's me, Jewel Ranger. Hopefully, with my last video for today. So, guys, keep your eyes and ears and peepers on this one. This is another unboxing, so be aware that if you're in this one for any insight or opinion, then it's not going to be here. This is purely unboxing and review stuff. So, let's start off with the last video for today, hopefully. Hopefully, I shouldn't have any more to do. And this one is for this lovely thing, which is a Buffalo Link Station Live. Let me pop that right there for you guys. Ooh, zoom it out. There we go. Buffalo 1 terabyte Link Station Live. And let's get this show on the road. Okay, guys. Today we are opening up in what's called the Buffalo Link Station Live. It's um, the one, the one terabyte version. I hope I said that right. Um, basically, web access. Uh, you can access via route. It basically connects into your wireless router uh, or your router, whatever. And it means that anyone on the the network, on the shared network, can access the the drive, which is good if you've got more than one computer or uh, you know. Or you you should be able to access it um, from like from different wireless points as well. So you've got an iPhone, or you're in an internet cafe, you should be able to connect via the internet. Anyway, this is just an unboxing, so we'll do a review of it once I've used it for a little bit um, and got it all set up and plugged in and all that type of stuff. So I'm just doing an unboxing today. So I've already taken off the the all the seller tape and packaging, so I'm just undoing the top. So, let's go to here. So, wow, let there be light, and there was light. So, so and inside, on this side, oh, I've got this the power cable. Looks good. I'll put that on the hand. Got a cable. That looks at it. But, uh, looks like it is multi-region. So you can change the clip. But I'm not sure about that yet. So let's just pop that down over here. That's down there. And let's look inside. So, that out comes what is the, the buffalo itself. Uh, so take the smell of new hard drive. Let's, uh, take that, uh, that, rip that. Eventually, that's what we've got. Um, so it goes that way up. That's the function. So that's like that's for seeing if it's on or off. USB port, on off power. There's the LAN connection and the power connection. And so, hey, well, let's see what else we have. like a the connection for the router connection so you plug it in I've got more, the ethernet the ethernet connection for the LAN so I've got that and what else have we got in here let's go back this looks like the plug connections I really do need to get a tripod with some thick form of description. Don't I? Pop that down there. Let's see if there's anything else. No, and that is it. That's what's in here. Oh, there's something that I have here. Which is all the bulk info. 
Link Navigator Disc Quick Setup for it all. Quick Start Configurations, all that type of stuff. So that's there. That goes in with that. And then inside, that's it. There's nothing left in there now. Cool. So, what we've got is we've got the link station box, obviously. You've got your link station. Um, we've got the plug, your connectors, and an American or American and other parts. I'm not sure which other parts use the this connection, but it looks like an American connector. And then a British. I think Europe, you, some places in Europe use those as well, but I'm not a plug aficionado. But here we've got the British plug for Great Britain. And uh, places like Gibraltar and stuff. And yeah, so that's that. Well, now I'll have a, a quick look around the box. Okay, now it's the uh, quick look portion, so everyone can get a good look at the actual Link Station Live, the Buffalo Link Station Live, one terabyte version. So here we have the Link Station Live, and I've got my CD to give you a CD comparison again. So that's the CD. Imagine that by the side. Now it's quite hard to uh, get a look on it, but it's about one and what well, one and one quarter the CD length. So as you look at the width of the of the uh, link station. There we go. Sorry about that. Now the width of the link station basically uh, will match the CD up against it. As you can see, it's about one CD across and uh, one one CD up. And this is about an inch. Really should get a ruler for all this stuff so you can actually see it with a ruler. That would be quite useful. But until then, you just have to deal with the CD. So do apologise about that. Let's move the CD out of the way so you can get a good look. Now, let's look at what would be the good part of this whole machine, which is the back area, which is all the all the ins and outs and gubbins and all that type of stuff. So let's have a quick peek at those. So, zooming in, you see that's the USB. Then right here, you've got the what the on-off switch. That's the power. Sorry, it's gone a bit. That's the power. Then you've got your uh, LAN, your Ethernet connection, and basically there your uh, power source. So if we zoom out back to uh, back off the digital zoom. There we go. Get a better, clearer look. You'll see they're actually fairly close together, um, and that pretty much is it. And there looks like that's an inbuilt fan to keep it nice and cool. I have to power it on at some point. Okay, and that's the other side. And that's basically it. So that's a that's a look at the Buffalo. The Link Station Buffalo. What's that? There we go. Fairly straightforward, um, and all the little bits and pieces that come with it. So I should be coming with a review fairly soon of this. I need to just need to have a quick use and play around with it and see how it all goes and the pros and cons of it. So thank you very much for watching this, and I'll catch you again another time.